Welcome back, everybody. You know, boxers are some of the toughest athletes on the planet, and our Nick Petriccioni says a group of them are proving that by stepping into the ring toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lifelong disease. Something special is happening in Montana. I would not believe that exercise was that powerful to do that until I saw it with my own eyes. This is rock steady boxing, a class at Fuel Fitness in Bozeman specifically designed to help people diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. When people think of boxing, many associate it with violence. Punches are thrown to hurt people, but it can actually help heal because the sport itself is incredible at combating the disease. Boxing is great because we know uh, from research that force-induced exercise can really slow down the progression um, and the symptoms of the disease. And so bringing people in here and having them work out for 90 minutes is just a great counterway to, to help fight their symptoms. And it all started with Norm Dreyer, an occupational therapist who brought Rocksteady to Bozeman. It means so much to him, being diagnosed with Parkinson's himself on his 60th birthday. I thought this is a no-brainer, I gotta, I gotta do this. I started researching uh, what Rocksteady was about and um, the, more I, the more I read and the more I saw, the more I liked. Word spread throughout the Gallatin Valley that Rocksteady works to slow down the effects of Parkinson's. When I first learned about having Parkinson's, I, was, I felt like I'd had a mini stroke on my left side so my left side wasn't moving nearly as well. And between the big exercises and now the rock steady boxing, I'm over that. It's fun, and yet, of course, I'm learning a lot. And I think I'm actually getting stronger as well. People in here that were using wheelchairs before are walking, and they're punching harder, they're quicker, their cognitive skills are improving. And they have some of the best coaches and volunteers around to help them, even a former Golden Glove boxer from Philadelphia. I see these smiles on their faces, you know, and total devotion to what they're doing, and that by itself is very rewarding for me. They're all extremely hardworking, and I teach 20-something-year-olds, and I have to yell at them to work harder. I don't think I've really ever had to tell anyone in here to do the physical workout. Now it seems like everyone's favorite dummy to punch in this class is fittingly named Parky. Now Parkinson's right now in medicine is an incurable disease, but with every single punch these people throw, they fight back a little more. There's something cathartic about beating a bag that you, that you want to label Parkinson's, you know, just giving it to it. Maybe growing up, the little southern girl, I'd never hit anything. And then I just have so much fun hitting those bags. And it's like, oh, why did I not know this for 66 years? You know, how fun it is to hit things. If they do this, it's going to help them. If they sit at home and don't do anything, it's going to progress. And that's kind of like the rock steady uh, mantra. In this corner is hope, you know, don't give up, keep fighting back. It may be a disease that is medically unbeatable, but don't tell that to these boxers who will throw every single punch they can to overcome it. In Bozeman, Nick Petriccioni, MTN Sports.